Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a bit late. As you can probably tell, I seem to be coming down with something. And it started earlier this morning. As of this recording, it is now 17.38 my time, Germany. So, yeah, probably the flu, or it could be because of me not being able to sleep really well last night. Either way, I'm gonna try to push this video and even utilize it for this next episode as, well, practice in method acting, so to say. Still, I hope that you enjoy. Uh, oh, that was not a restful night's sleep. <coughs> I think I might have caught something. What is a girl to do? Gonna try sleeping for a bit longer. didn't work. In fact, that was even worse. The same nightmare as last time. Oh my goodness. Alright. As weary and flubbed up as I feel, may as well get the heck out of bed. And see if I can help this priest out. Hello, sir. I hear that you're the one that's actually trying to deal with these nightmares. What troubles you, my daughter? What is wrong around here? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. Serious danger? Uh, well... This is actually being chalked up to me being tired, but... You could just leave. This... Isn't... No, no. Don't be ridiculous. Dreams are harmless. I know I could beg to differ. In any other circumstance, I'd agree with you. However, these aren't normal dreams. The right. Daedric Lord Vermina's voracious hunger for memories Vem is no. responsible for these visions. The nightmares are an echo of her presence as she feeds. Vermina, the Daedric Prince? What is your plan, then? I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. Sure, because I'm suffering from them, too. But what do you mean by return? You've been there? I've already said too much. 
If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. I trust you. How can I help? Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Before we go, I need a refresher. Who is the Daedric Lord Vermina? Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. What does she do with the memories? Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. All right. Let me gather everyone and we'll be on our way. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. All right, Miko. Let's go. Hilda, come with me. Thistle. With me, please. Lydia, I hope that you and Inigo had better sleep than I did. Still here. Let's get going. As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. And lastly... Hey, Inigo. Yes, my friend. I'm gonna need you to come with me again. I wish you had woken me up uh, sooner, but thank you for letting me try to sleep. I'm really not feeling well. You lead, I follow. <sighs> Off to save this town, then. Let's hope that this doesn't take us too far into the mountains. I'm really risking my own health. Follow me. It's this way. All right, lead on. Just in case. It feels good to finally have a chance to help these people. Helplessly watching them suffer has been difficult. You don't say. Tower on that hill is our destination. People around here call it the Tower of the Dawn. Tower I'm not familiar with the tower's history, but it was deserted for quite a long time before Nightcaller Temple was established inside. When the temple was active, the priests would rarely be seen in Dawnstar. They preferred to live a solitary existence. The temple had been abandoned for decades now. Ironic, oh isn't it? A ruin within a ruin. There's a small shrine to Mara I established inside the tower's entry hall. I was hoping to seek spiritual guidance from her. Perhaps my prayers were answered. No reason for stumbling across Dawnstar is more well, than a mere coincidence. You are a fellow devotee to Mara, so... By her benevolence... I will be working with you. I have to. I'm so this to not smells fresh today. It is a good batch. <laughs> yeah, just with the downside that. Yeah. By the way, thank you for stopping me from becoming a broken. Uh,
Thank you for stopping me from becoming a... Repeating Reggie, I guess you could call it. I will hope that we won't have to face too much up there, Erinder. It's not too far away from Dawnstar. But I guess that could be the why that there are nightmares there. Is everything okay? Easy for you to say. You have twice as many legs as I do. <laughs> Anyways. I guess whatever is hidden in this tower is affecting the Sounds so strongly because it is so close. They mustn't uh, oh, 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 g uh, act, act, no, 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 no. Inigo, I'm gonna count on your spider smashing hobby. Oh, goodness. Completely Come on. Oh, in all honesty, at least it's spiders and not fossils. I heard that those things can be particularly nasty. Anything, Nico. I'm not wasting anything. That's Mara's blessing. character pardon me I'm at the moment drinking coffee while trying to fight off whatever is ailing me all right Erinder we are here before we enter I must warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within years ago this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge they were being plagued by nightmares, just like the people of Dawnstar. Were they successful? No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm now starting to get really suspicious about you, Erinder. Why is it dangerous if they're asleep? I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. I got the feeling that you have been in their service before, Erinder. Otherwise you wouldn't be speaking like you would know the place. Unless, of course, Lady Mara has told you what might have been going on here. What does the Miasma do? The Miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the Miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. 
Hmm. Is the gas dangerous? Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. All right, I've heard enough. Once we get inside, all will become clear. I hope so. I would like to get back to resting peacefully. I hope that you're able to come along, Inigo. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to summon you. This place out in the red dawn star of their nightmares. Hoping that this goes well. Sorry, sir. If it's... If a staff like that is having such a range, then... That must be really powerful. And dangerous. Okay, summoning a doggy. Sorry, doggy. Right. Uh. Oh, I'm surprised that I'm able to cast spells even in my current state. Damn it! The priest must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Uh. Yeah, that looks uh, difficult to breach, to say the least. Difficult being the understatement of the era. Impossible, actually. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. You truly seem to know an awful lot about this place. Now I really got the feeling that you have been in the service of Vermina before. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. I knew it. Why keep it a secret, though? The orcs invaded the temple. I fled. I left my brothers and sisters here to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for harm. By her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. Well, 
Hollander, you are on the right path. I'm ready whenever you are. I'll still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. So, how can the skull be affecting Dawnstar? Lore holds that the skull of corruption holds a constant hunger for the memories of others. The skull has been out of touch for so long. I fear it's gained the ability to reach out on its own and try to feed. What it does with these memories is just conjecture, and an argument for scholars and historians to this very day. I can imagine that it uses care. those dreams. The skull to... needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. To power itself. And at the same time, it uses those dreams to get stronger. It's just up here. certain to find more of the awakened within. Oh, I am absolutely ready, sir. I can guarantee you that. Yep. Go, doggy, go! Oh, lightning users. Oh, no. Uh-uh. Okay, time to fling you down. Don't get in range. Okay, he seems to be out of magicka. Good. Ah, uh, never mind. healing Come on. Uh, that was a complete miss okay he's on fire he didn't die. He just healed. Oh, great. Okay. Come on. Kill him. Come on, Erender. Strike him down. As soon as we're done here. Now, time to walk it through, staying behind Erendur. This I don't library any... used to be filled with arcane volumes. Now look at it. Almost everything has been burned. Which is sad, to be honest. That, 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 
Tilda Key was actually by accident. I need to see what potions I have. Please let me have some heal. Yep, I got some healing potions. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay. No! Okay. Keep him distracted, Erinder. I'll try fireballing as often as I can and healing. Sir, get flamed. Wait, there are Barring any more interruptions. Perhaps we can locate the information I need. Okay, what is it that you want me to look for? We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called the Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. All right. If you'll check the shelves around the balcony, I'll check around the lower level. As I was saying, I feel like I'm disadvantaged here. A lot of the people here are bound to be dark elves. And if I recall correctly, they are quite resilient to heat. I think I'd best eat up before continuing further. Nice bit of chicken breast and rabbit haunch. So, dream strike. Likeness of Vermina on it. Hello. Hope you don't mind me reading it before we go. Not before I give it to you. The Dream Stride. The Mysterious Alchemists of Vermina. For over a thousand years, the priests of Vermina have been the masters of the art of alchemy. The complexity and potency of their mixtures are nothing short of legendary. These alchemical treasures are so highly sought after that a single draught showing up on the black market can command sums in the tens of thousands of septims. Of the numerous potions that have surfaced to date, Vamina's Torpor is perhaps the most impressive. A single sip of this viscous liquid place, um, places the imbiber in a state known as the Dream Stride. This condition allows the subject to experience the dreams of another as if they were actually there. The subject becomes an integral part of the dream, behaving as if they belong to any other entities in this dream state. The subject will be mistaken for the dreamer. The subject will even find his mannerisms, speech patterns, and knowledge expanded appropriately. To an observer, after the subject has imbibed the potion, they will appear to vanish. As the subject tra traverses distances within the dream, they will also be traversing distance distances in the actual world. When the torpor's effect has expired, the subject will fade back into reality in the exact location projected within the dream stride. Some dream strides have transported their subjects a few feet, and some have appeared 
thousands of, mi of miles from their origin in a matter of minutes. It is to be noted that the dream stride is highly dangerous and presents the subject with numerous pitfalls. Pitfalls, pardon. In certain dreams, subjects have been exposed to life-threatening scenarios such as sicknesses, violence, and even death. In most cases, the subject simply fades back to our world without harm. But in some instances, the subject never reappeared and was assumed to have expired, or the subject reappeared deceased. It is also quite possible that the subject could reappear in a precarious or hazardous location in reality, even though that location appeared safe within the dream stride. Verminus torpor is as mysterious and elusive as the priests that created it. It's unknown whether this unique transport mechanism is a result of the torpor itself or simply the odd machinations of Vermina, but the potential for using the dream stride to penetrate seemingly impassable obstacles certainly outweighs its mysterious nature. Well, that's indeed the book, and that is interesting. Very interesting indeed. I am definitely going to be keeping this book for posterity. Erinda? Oh, don't tell me that I passed you. Erinda! Oh, there you are. Yeah, I did. Yes, my daughter. I found it. What is it I can help with? Let me take a look. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's torpor. Is that some type of potion? Yeah, what kind of question is that? We just read the freaking book. Yes. The torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. That is actually amazing. Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. A divine? Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. I'm going to be your test subject then? Seriously, a divine? Daedra? Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina, or the unaffiliated. And what do you th what makes you think that it's gonna work for me? <sighs> I mean, I'm a devotee to the very same goddess that you serve. I mean, seriously. Forget it. It could actually kill me. No. All my research points in the opposite direction. This is the exact liquid the priests would drink. The only question in my mind is whether you would be granted the dream stride. Otherwise, the worst that could happen is a bad aftertaste. I swear upon Lady Mara, that I would never let any harm befall you. Ah, uh, fine. Do you know where we could find the torpor? I believe so there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. I will ask what the Dream Stride feels like when I am there, to be honest. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. I sure as heck hope so. 
Otherwise, this venture is completely lost. And I will just be making my way back to Dawnstar, and we'll find another way. Watch where you're aiming the lightning, dude! Doggy proved effective. My spell casting will be very ineffective. Come on. Okay, actually... No, 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 I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save my potion. Come on! Fuck! I just hit my own dog! Yeah, I'm really ahead of it today. Downside of this is these orc invaders are dressed as bandits. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Aaron Dirk, could you please watch where you aim those flames? I do the same for you. Like a woman? Could have just me having some hallucination. Don't want to get in range of that sword. Come on, kill him! There we go. Oh, I'm actually going the wrong way. All right. I re honestly, I hope that they have beds here. As much of a bad idea as it would be to sleep amidst all this miasma and Daedra. No! No, don't want to play loot. Okay, good. I just gotta make sure that. Hurt. Hit that again. Why did I hit that again? Okay. Here. Have a notch or notch. Oh, I chug through my potions. Rather. <sighs> now I'm wishing I had specialized into lightning instead of fire. Now the day can tell me. We need to find the torque. How will I know what it looks like? It should be in a small bottle. Very similar to a potion. I'll begin searching up here. Oh, that's useful. 
in a small bottle very similar to a potion. Okay, I'll just sift through every single one of these bottles here for a potion that matches that description. Oh, wait! It could also be one of these bo one of these uh, wine bottles here, wouldn't it? Oh, great! Yeah, just peachy keen. Ugh. Hmm. Well, that's a potion, but that's not what we're looking for. That's also not what we what we are looking for. Where are the stamina, minor healing. Did it somehow get knocked off the shelf? Oh. Oh. Hello. And it even says on the label, Vermina's Torpor. Yes, my daughter. What is it I can help with? Found the Torpor. I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far. But you need to guard us the rest of the way. Drink. Here? Now? Even though I am actually feeling pretty sleepy, I could u I could actually use this dream stride sleep. Dawn Star's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation. But I promise you that it works. What will the dream... No. Let's continue. Never mind. We still have much to do. Alright. Where is it? Alright. Erinder. Bottoms up. The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Varen. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, Brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. <laughs> the miasma? But, Brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of their meaning. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of their Mina? I've made my peace. I am ready. Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Right. Agreed. To the death. Goodbye, my brothers. And the barrier's down. Eritur, 
That felt wonderful. It worked. Mara be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. It was remarkable. As if I was really there. How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research of the skull. We can discuss this later. We need to get to the skull. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. I Need agree. All, my friend. Though I swear, if any of those beds are still intact, Come. I'm napping. We must get to the skull and destroy it. Right. And since I'm now low on potions, Inigo. Likewise, Inigo, we are gonna need your sword on. Every single one that wishes to sleep eternal. And yes, Inigo, I am gonna be taking a bed here. You need a few more and a few more fireballs. Of skill and grace. Thanks, Inigo. They do have beds here. Oh. Come on, Inigo. Get in. Ah, sorry, Arthur. I'm healing you, man. Okay. Erdor, I will be catching up with you in a few hours. Oh, that is way better. Sorry, Erdor. I know that that was a bit long, but... Uh, well, when a girl needs sleep, a girl needs sleep, right? Here we go. Now bleeding to death. Oh boy. Oh, this could go splendidly. Why? Yep. Splendidly Thorin, indeed. You're alive. No thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die, and then ran before the miasma took you. No, I... I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies! 
I can't allow you to destroy the skull, Priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. I don't think you leave any of us any choice. Alright. Let's see now. Fork first. Since he doesn't resist heat. Goes to him fine. It's Thork that needs to go down. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, no! Okay. That's Thork down. No. They gave us no choice. Yes, you're right. If they needed to die so that Dawnstar could live, then it was worth the price. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Marvel. First, an incantation to remove the barrier. When the ritual is complete, the skull will be brief, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. She's a Daedric Prince! I will not fall for your lies, foul demon. Forgive me if I don't appear relieved. This temple has taken its toll on me. It's all right. Well, I'm going to be all right. The ta Dawn Star is going to be all right. But what about you? Are you going to be okay? In time, I believe I will. I constructed a meager shrine to Mara in the antechamber where we entered. My intention was to spend the rest of my years here, burying the past and praying for forgiveness. But instead, I wish to offer my services to you. If you ever wish to journey with me, I'll be here. Oh, th I'll gladly take that into consideration, Erendu. Thank you. Although I'm probably going to have to give you a thousand gold in, in order for you to buy your own horse. There's no need to thank me. What you did was for the people of Dawnstar. If anyone should be thanked, it should be you. Well, if anyone should be thanked, it should be me. Sir. 
You're the one that performs the incantation to destroy the skull. You're the one that actually put up a petition for a helping hand. All I did was provide some backline assistance. Admittedly in the form of healing, destruction, conjuration, but still, assistance is assistance, right? And let's not forget about the awesomeness of, I of Inigo. Without him, that fight would have been... Let's put it this way... Very annoying.